Nagnaplo ako habang naghihintay ng SGD tapos pagkagising ko. Hey, it's Janelle. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, papakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung ginagawa namin usually sa internal medicine rotation ngayong online internship in St. Luke's Medical Center, College of Medicine, William H. Quasha Memorial. Today is March 3, 9 a.m. Meron kami supposed na small group discussion or preceptorials ng 9 a.m. Pero namubo siya to 10 a.m. kasi kakabigay na ang case. And the case is about a 20-year-old female with classic Hodgkin lymphoma. Hello, good doctor. Morning. Good morning. Good morning, doctor. Alright, so iba yung style ng preceptorial namin today. So we're gonna see a patient virtually, na of course with consent. So dadalhin kami ni Doc dun sa room ng patient through the phone. Tapos nakazoom call kami right now. Of course, di ko papakita kasi for the patient privacy, but that's what we're doing right now. So it's kind of exciting kasi bagong modality or first time ko maka-experience ng ganitong teaching style. Okay, so nangyari ay in-interview naman yung patient, yung mother ng patient. Tapos later ng 3 p.m. mag-discuss kami ng impression, the di differential, di differential diagnosis, diagnostic. Pili daw kami ko which among the symptoms yung gusto naming start ng discussion. And for the other differentials, Janelle will present. Okay. Hey, good morning. Today is a new day, March 4. Tama ba? March 4. March 4, 2021. Um, currently in my internal medicine rotation, meron akong, um, what do you call this? Meron akong SS patient for interview with my MROD body. So, uh, yung gagawin namin since online pa rin kami, so interview ko lang with the resident through Google Meet. So, I'm very excited kasi new patient. Usually, kasi pag new patient, hindi mo pa alam ko ano yung sakit niya unless galing siya sa ibang hospital tapos nirefer for your service. But then, yun nga, usually talaga pag new patient, may challenge ka pa kung ano ba yung sakit niya versus dun sa mga for follow-up patient na naalam mo na kung yung sakit tapos like more on. Uh, maintenance and more on monitoring yung yung concern. I'm just gonna freshen up and then hopefully mag-reply si Doc and maka-interview ako ng new patient. Let's go. Actually, parang pag nag-vlog ka, in imagine ko, for example, pag din yung resident na ako, baka, I mean, practice na kapag yung mga clerks ko and interns ko still online. Siyempre, may days pa rin na online. Parang, Ito na yung practice ko na masanay na incorporate yung vlogging into my life. Okay, so hindi pinagre-reply si Doc. Tapos minimake sure ko lang sa group mates ko na kay Doc dapat magagaling yung Google Meet. Alam mo yun, make sure ko lang yung mga <laughs> logistics. Ano yun, sorry, adjet kasi ako as a person. Hindi naman na adjet, pero parang gusto ko lang kasi na nagagawa agad yung stuff. And it's both an advantage and a disadvantage kasi everyone has their own time sa paggawa ng stuff nila. Lala na ngayong online learning. Ang hirap yun talaga sa isa talaga sa pinaka nahirapan ko matutunan ay respect mo yung time ng iba. Lala na sa mga stuff na sequential, yung mga yung mga group work na kailangan mo hintayin yung part ng iba bago mo magawa yung part mo. Wala lang, hirap lang. So, kailangan ko rin mag-chill. Diba? Hindi naman lagi ikaw yung tama eh. Okay, false alarm. Hindi ko pala interview yung patient. So, nangyari, sinad sa akin ni Doc yung admission notes. And then, we're gonna discuss the patient tomorrow. So, ngayon, yung next ko naman gagawin ay yung homework namin for our discussion yesterday. Yung case of a 20-year-old female with classic Hodgkin lymphoma. So, we're tasked to check out kung paano ba yun kinaklassify and paano ba yun manage. Oh no, sini nag viper. Kinakabahan talaga ako pag may nag-viper. 
Ok, group mates ko lang. Okay. Thank you so much guys ha, for your time ha. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, Doc. Bye, Doc. Bye, Doc. Okay, sobrang inspirational. Parang, apart from discussing how to appraise journal articles on treatment, nag-share din si Doc ng kanyang life lessons and ng kanyang journey sa research na very inspirational naman. Natuwa talaga ako sa session this morning. It's just the first synchronous session of the day. Oh yeah, and I'm just waiting for the next class at no, 11 o'clock. Right now, I'm just gonna do a quick review on the notes na meron ako. Yung clinical practice guidelines for diabetes. Hopefully, hindi thyroid yung itanong kasi hindi ko siya masyadong na-review. Pero usually, ganun eh. Pagka kung ano hindi mo na-review, yun yung i-discuss. TM. Please! Diabetes para makasagot ako. Kasi hindi na kinaya ng brain ko magbasa ng clinical practice guidelines ng thyroid. Matatawa talaga ako kung thyroid yun. Okay, it seems like nag-around pa si Doc. So what I'm gonna do is either matutulog ako or kakain ako. And I'm leaning towards taking a nap. Kasi pagka humain ako, antokin ako later and I can't afford that. Kasi kailangan talaga ng brain cells pag nag-discuss ng endo cases. One hour later. Just woke up from my nap. Tapos, na-postpone yung session namin. One day na lang daw. Save yung brain cells ko dun. And meron akong time to read up on thyroid. Kaya, wala lang. Sinasabi ng universe na mag-aaral daw ako ng thyroid management. Okay. Next session ay 12.30. Uh, our ECG lecture series uh, on uh, ST elevation myocardial infarction. The ER physician requested for a 12 week ECG, and this was the tracing for our patient. Two, three, four, five. So, given this B2. ECG and this no, case, B2, B2, uh, what can we say is our initial impression? Um, until. So, Okay, so, so sa ST elevation and I particularly lateral wall. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So actually, um, we can still call this an anteroseptal. Ay anteroseptal, hindi pa pala yung lateral. Dapat pala V five, V six pa lateral. Oh, of course. How could so, I forget? So, um, we're still at the background. Sorry. <laughs> Again, that's a good lecture. You may go back to your uh, rotations, okay? Thank you so much for the doctor. Okay. Okay. I gotta say, this is really one of my favorite activities of internal medicine rotation. Every 12.30 ng tanghali, we have a 30-minute lecture on high-yield IM stuff. So the other day, we have a talk about hypovolemic shock, GI bleeding, and we have dyspnea, we have abdominal pain. And today, we have about ECG. So yeah. Next session at 2 p.m. Gonna take a break. Oh my god. <laughs> Lol. Bayan ko na tayo transition, transition. <sighs> Reporting for the day. Yeah. Just turn on my lights. And my other lights. Hindi rin po kasi tignan sa zoom. Right now, kukontinue namin yung discussion on the treatment of a 20-year-old female with classic Hodgkin lymphoma. So the other day, yung first session namin, nag-meet kami to interview the mother of the patient. So nag-history and nirelay sa amin ni Doc yung PE. 
And within the same day, after a few hours, we met up again through Doc through Zoom para to ask us what our differential diagnosis namin and what we want to order na diagnostics. So after that, we saw the results of the results ng sa patient. And then, we asked how we want to treat the patient. So that's what we're going to do now, the third installation of the SGD. So, we uh, prepared the PowerPoint and we na kami sa parts. And right now, we're just waiting for our professor para makarating siya sa Zoom and continue namin yung discussion. So I'll now be discussing the treatment stratification for our patient. Okay, so we're done discussing our patient with the classic Hodgkin lymphoma. Sadly, hindi yung maganda yung prognosis niya. But and hoping for the best for that patient. But anyway, so for today, 3:30 p.m. Meron ako ng hinihintay na text from my resident kung ide discuss namin yung case niya. But I'm guessing na bakak hindi nyo makapagreply kasi bakak busy sila sa hospital. Alright, so that's a typical week in the life of a senior intern rotating in internal medicine here at St. Luke's Medical Center, College of Medicine, William H. Quasha Memorial. Hope you enjoyed and like and subscribe for more videos.